third and final day at CR Space 2017. Today we take a look at the latest naval defense technologies out of the US as well as the international presence such as this future destroyer project by Japanese company Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. This is the concept uh, model for the future frigate. So we uh, designed this model for the next generation uh, frigate for Japanese Defense Force. So this um, vessel has very high speed performance and stealth characteristics. The speed is about 40 knots and the size is about 3,000 metric ton, but it will be changed according to the requirement from the customers. This is the cyber security solution. We, uh, we named this system Intercept. So this system protects the in, uh, critical infrastructure and onboard control system from the zero-day attack. So this um, system protect, uh, protects the virus, which passes the ordinal virus protection program, IDS, or firewalls. So we think this will be the final project for the onboard equipment and other vehicles. We're here really to showcase uh, what uh, our world-leading capabilities, and particularly the 30mm uh, naval gun system you can see behind. Um, but also we've got a range of other um, capabilities that uh, we're bringing to the market um, or have recently brought to, to market. Really in recognition of the proliferation of smaller patrol craft that are many navies and countries employ for constabulary reasons. Um, so that is stabilized systems, uh, remote stabilized systems from 12.7 uh, right up to uh, 40 millimeter capability. It is, and those systems need to be built and designed to endure and continue to uh, operate reliably uh, in that environment. And that's what our systems do. That's why 19 other navies have bought our systems because it has such high availability and such high reliability because of the quality of the design and build. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Last year you rolled out the LCS frigate design. This year you're showing some uh, design modification. Can you guide us through it? Sure. Well, this is our Oslo USA's frigate offering. And um, one of the main differences between the LCS and the frigate from a C-frame perspective is that we've notched the flight deck and created a fantail so that we can add capabilities to the ship aft. We have two quad packs of over-the-horizon missiles, uh, variable, depth, variable depth sonars, and a towed array. And that really gives the, the ship uh, more capability um, and more lethality, which is one of the things that we've been focusing on to supporting the needs of the Navy. Um, we've also added um, an opportunity uh, or an option to uh, include uh, vertical launch, Mark 41 vertical launch systems on the ship and an updated 3D radar. We've also up forward, we've added this Euros uh, fire control system. So a lot of increased capability, but one of the things that we're more proud of is the fact that, is what's, what hasn't changed. And basically the C-frame from main deck down is identical to the uh, LCS, which means going forward we can leverage the productivity efficiencies and lessons learned from building LCSs, roll right into frigate and keep the cost down. And that's something that's very important to us and obviously important to the Navy. And we're very excited about the, uh, this um, cost-effective solution that we're providing the Navy and uh, we're looking forward to building many of them in the future.
What I'm showcasing this morning is the, uh, this is a model of the USS Ford aircraft carrier, uh, which we'll be going to see later this week. Um, what you have before you is a cutaway of the new advanced arresting gear system for the carrier, and you also have the, the electric EMOLS uh, launch system, okay? Uh, the, the, these technologies are revolutionary as part of the Ford class carrier. Uh, the uh, the uh, EMOL systems allows you to launch any class of aircraft, whether it's a UAV, RPA, or a very, very heavy aircraft. What, what it cares about is the end speed, okay? Uh, as the aircraft, it reaches its end speed. So no matter how light or how heavy, it calculates the way that aircraft as it moves forward down the launch to launch any, any range of aircraft. The new arresting gear system uh, allows for a new way of catching much heavier, faster aircraft. Uh, in essence, um, you think as a child you had an egg toss, you used to catch an egg, you used to cushion it. This, in essence, paves out the cable for a fraction of a second to, um, to catch the aircraft. So these are for the future uh, fleet uh, of aircraft. Uh, 20 for now and but also 2035 and beyond. There's a lot of interest of recent. Uh, we've been working for the last four years and talking to the Indian Navy about export of this technology for their IAC2 carrier, uh, which is still still being talked about. It's still on the drawing board. Um, we did receive uh, this week export approval for the export of EMOLS AAG to the Indian Navy. We have interests uh, from the countries of Brazil, from France. Uh, there may be some interest about putting this technology on some of the flat top uh, uh, vessels in the uh, Japanese Navy. We, we've had some interest. We had Euro Naval show last year. We sat down with folks from DCNS and talked about, um, uh, we don't have an export license at that time, but we talked about, in general, about the carrier uh, they showed an interest of knowing both for their domestic carriers and for export what would be available in EMOLS AAG. So that, that meeting did occur. We do expect follow-up meetings with DCNS in San Diego sometime this summer. Uh, from the Indian Navy standpoint, uh, there has been interest at this very show about uh, uh, asking general questions about that. I think the, uh, the French government uh, is looking at possible technologies like this in the future. Uh, I do expect follow-up discussions between the U.S. government and French government at that level about the exportability of this in the future. Uh, right now, we don't have a license to export, but like I said, with the India license happening, we, we do expect something to happen here soon.